What's this hair? Ruben. How's it going, Luke? How's your hair look? A mess. <laughs> so, I haven't talked to you since you signed with Thompson Banner. Yeah. How is it like being a pro, man? A little different. Uh, I'm, I'm having fun, actually. I'm getting paid while I'm doing it. Uh, just trying to stay focused and uh, get as much as fights as I can get this year. Yeah, that's one thing about Thompson is they really keep their fighters yeah. active. They get yeah. them about four or five fights a year. Yeah. Is that one of the things that made you decide to sign with them? Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, they do have a fight every month, and uh, we talked to uh, Mr. Thompson and Alex, the matchmaker, and uh, everything was good. Uh, we had an agreement, and uh, we got down to business. Well, that's great. So right now you're in a very popular weight class, the featherweight division. Is it fun? Like you got uh, the Shakur Stevenson, the Michael Conlon, all these guys are right about where you're at. Yes. And they're some of the future stars of boxing and you're in the same weight. That basically means there's money to be made for you. Yes, sir. Uh, that's the plan. And uh, I just want to be the best. I'm working to be the best. And hopefully I get to meet up with any, any both of them. Uh, we'll see in the future. And what, like, do you know much about your next fight other than your fighting out of state? No, I do not. Uh, I just get my work done here at training camp. Do everything we have to do is done. And uh, just sparring, finish up a little bit more sparring. And uh, we'll be ready for uh, April 14th. Give me a crazy story from the amateurs. Like, you making weight funny and then having to fight somebody. The, the, uh, the Olympic trials, the whole week, the last, the last trials to get on the, the team. I was losing like five to six pounds every day. It sucked, man. I was spitting, uh, running, getting in the sauna. I had to weigh in naked every day almost. Uh, and it was hard, man. And uh, I feel like that really affected me uh, against oh, the whole tournament. And uh, not making excuses, but 126 is my weight. So for those that don't know, you know, internet warriors that have a beer in their hand and are a little chubby, explain to them how painful it is to have to make a weight class that you probably shouldn't oh even be gosh. making every single day and then have to perform at peak athletic performance. It was unhealthy as hell, man. Uh, it sucked, man. And uh, I got through it and uh, mentally I got through it. That's what got me through everything. And uh, just staying strong, staying in the gym now, making 126, eating healthier and uh, feeling stronger. And I uh, feel like I'm really building up to, to the weight and uh, I feel good. Who do you got, Oscar Valdez or Miguel Mariaga? Uh, I'm gonna say Oscar Valdez only because I seen him spar uh, a couple months back and uh, he's aggressive, he's active, and uh, he's entertaining. So I, I think this is a sneaky good fight because I don't know if you know Miguel Mariaga, he knocked out Guy Robb, and that's, yeah, yeah. that's pretty impressive. Yes, it is, and uh, well, we'll see, that's, what, that's what boxing is made for. Yeah. Uh, the best fight the best, and uh, I just want to get at that level as soon as I can, but I'm staying patient, and uh, hopefully it'll be there soon. Where can people follow you? Huh? Where can people follow you? Uh, RV4.